Did you know the first anniversary edition Harley was released in 1953 when the company celebrated their 50th year? Today, we're going to talk about Harley Davidson rumors and the possibility of a 2023 Road King anniversary edition. Before we talk about the 2023 anniversary editions that we could see next year, let's do a quick recap on what we know so far and what new models we might see in 2023 because there has been some more news since the last time I talked about this in October. I already did a video about the Evo powered Sportster being canceled. There's not much that's changed on that front. I did have a Harley Davidson employee comment on a video that the last Sportster was built in October and all the employees signed it. It will be on display at the tour center at the York plant. I also talked about a video where Harley dealer said the soft tail standard was dropped for 2023. And while I believe that statement is true, I want to discuss it a little more at the end of this video because I have some new thoughts about this and how that could play out. Now, now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you may know I discovered the Pan American 975 model in the part sheet and released a video on it just a couple of days before Motorcycle.com covered it. Well, last month, Motorcycle.com obtained further evidence of the Pan American 975's existence from installation instructions for a pair of mirrors that mentioned that they do not fit the RA 975S. Further proof came from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Safety and Recall page where you can find reference to the RA 975S. 975 and 975S, and they were listed as 2022 models. So it looks like the Pan American 975 was originally supposed to come out this year, but it didn't. Why it didn't come out sounds like a topic for a different video. Either way, all signs point to a Pan American 975 coming in the very near future. Many of us are hoping to still see the Bronx. But there has been no news about the Bronx since Harley renewed the trademark back in I think it was May. Harley needs more than two street bikes in the sport category, so I expect Harley to come out with something new for this category in 2023. I'm just not sure if it'll be the Bronx or maybe some other new model. Someone suggested Nystr running the 1250 engine from the Sportster S would be a good addition. And I agree personally, I like the Nystr better than the Sportster S. Having ridden both, I like the ergonomics on the Nystr tons over the Sportster S. Interestingly, the Nightster is designated as the RH975 and the Sportster is the RH1250S. So we do have room for a Nightster 1250 that would just be the RH1250 without the S designation. The rumor that I talked about in October that got the most response from you guys was that the Road King was being canceled. And this rumor in part came from the thought of the Milwaukee 107 engine being phased out and the fact that multiple people had told me that they wanted to order a Road King and they were told that they could not order order a Road King for 2023. I even had a dealership employee from outside the US say he could not order a 2023 Road King or Road King special yet. What if you can't order a Road King because they are going to release a 2023 Road King 120th anniversary edition? I mean, you all said Harley would be crazy for dropping the Road King. If you go back and look at anniversary editions, they were actually separate model numbers in 2013 and 2018. The 2018 breakout anniversary edition had an ANX designation added to the end of the model number. By making the anniversary editions its own distinct model, that would explain why people can't order a Road King if the Road King will only be offered in the anniversary models. And you won't be able to order an anniversary edition until after Harley announces the new models in what I presume is going to be January again. Now, it is possible that they will still have a non-anniversary edition and Harley Davidson has just blocked people from being able to order one because they don't want them ordering one and then consumers being upset when they find out it's coming coming out in a special anniversary edition. You know, people will be canceling orders and trying to reorder an anniversary edition. So maybe they're just trying to prevent that. I believe in 2023, we will see an FLHR with an anniversary edition designation. Do you know when Harley Davidson last made a Road King anniversary edition? It was 2013 and they actually made a Road King classic that year, a Road King anniversary edition and a CBO Road King anniversary edition. Fun fact, in 2013 and 2018, they released nine anniversary editions in each of those years. Do you think we'll see nine anniversary editions in 2023? Or do you think with HD cutting down the portfolio, we'll see fewer than nine anniversary models? I went back and I looked up what models Harley-Davidson did anniversary editions for going back to 2013. 
And do you know what touring models I was shocked to see that has not had an anniversary edition? The Road Glide. The last time we got an anniversary edition Road Glide was in 2008. So I'm thinking we'll see one of those in 2023 as well. Now, which version of the Road Glide? Well, that's hard to predict since we could potentially have four different models of the Road Glide. They could keep the standard, then you could have the special, we now have the ST, and then if they do a CVO Road Glide, four possible models to pick from. If you were picking, which version of Road Glide would you pick to make an anniversary edition from? Well, if it was me, I would probably do the Road Glide special. Do you want me to keep guessing what other models I think are likely to be an anniversary edition? Sure you do. So we have two models picked out so far, the Road King and the Road Glide. And based on the fact that they have done an anniversary edition Fat Boy and Heritage Softail Classic every year, going back to 2003, I'm gonna say those are pretty safe bets to be on the list. They could shake things up, but I don't think they will. So now we have four models. What are the next obvious choices? Well, a Street Glide. For sure, they've got to have a Street Glide, right? But again, like the Road Glide, we have up to four versions to choose from with the Street Glide. We could come out with the Standard, Special, the ST, the CVO. With the ST being such a new model, I don't think they're as likely to do that. So I think it's more likely to be a Special or a CVO. Those are the candidates that I think are most likely to get the anniversary treatment for a Street Glide in 2023. Personally, I'd like it to be the more affordable special model than the CVO. Who really knows what Harley Davidson will do? They have surprised us in the past more than once. All right, are you guys having fun yet? We now have five likely models for anniversary edition. Yeah, five. Since the Evo Sportsters are dead, we can forget about them. Personally, I would not risk making an anniversary special treatment for either of the new Revolution Max Sportsters, not the Nightster or the Sports Dress. It just doesn't feel right to me. Now, I might release a new model like the Bronx or the 1250 Nightster and make that an anniversary edition to drive demand up for a brand new model. You know, you'd be the first year of the Bronx and it would be a hundred 20th anniversary edition as well, you might even be able to get a little bit more money for it that way or justify the higher price tag. Historically, we've also seen at least one CVO model be designated as an anniversary edition. So if we follow that trend, you can bet on getting at least one CVO model I think it's likely to be an Ultra Limited or a Road Glide Limited. Hell, maybe they'd even do both. Now we have somewhere between potentially six and eight models that I think are likely to be anniversary models. Let's circle back around to the Softail Standard being canceled. The current Softail Standard is running the 107 engine. And if the 107 is being dropped and everything else is going to start with at least a 114 engine, well, what if they were to just call it the Softail Standard 114, like they did with the Fat Boy and the Heritage when they moved them to the 114? That in theory, is why the soft tail standard could be canceled from a technical standpoint. I get it's just a name change, but it would be technically a different model. It could be enough for a dealer to say it's dead or canceled possibly. Then again, what if it's going to be an anniversary edition only, like I suspect with the Road King? So then again, the old model designation is dead. There's still another possibility though. Did you guys see the video I did about a leaked photo that was sent to me that looked like a soft tail standard with a two up seat and a cafe fairing from maybe a Lowrider S? Maybe that bike was an early drawing of a new version of a soft tail standard that would be called the soft tail standard 114 or maybe the soft tail standard s you know then again what if i'm completely wrong and harley davidson is going to pull a 2003 on us do you know what i mean by that well back in 2003 almost every single model they came out with was an anniversary edition leave me a comment down below and let me know if you think harley should release limited models as anniversary editions or do you think in 2023 that they should have an anniversary edition for every model in the lineup. I think it's going to continue to be interesting to see what Harley Davidson does in the coming months as they plan this big 120th anniversary celebration. Will we see all the bikes in January or will they hold a few back to release those during the hometown rally event in July? I think that would be a cool thing as well. A couple of new models released in July at the hometown rally. That's a hell of a way to celebrate your 120th anniversary if you're Harley Davidson, right? If you did not see my video on the leaked soft tail standard photo, well, you can watch that here. You guys stay safe and keep on riding.